Hey guys, it's Dr. Kirby here, and we're back with another video. Yes, no background music, no intro. We haven't said that in a while. Um, we are reacting to patch 5.1 preview. It is 4 a.m. So let me just adjust my mic. Is it good? Okay, are we cooking? Okay, we're cooking. As you can see, I was just playing um, Star Rail, you know, doing the quest, manifesting for Archeron, and then I scrolled through Twitter and saw this. I'm like, you know what? We haven't done anything while drift in a hot minute. So yes, let's let's react to this, shall we? I've seen some stuff on Twitter, but yeah, I don't know what to expect. Hey friends, David. Oh, it's our daddy. Here. We've been teasing the <laughs> shadow and mist that are about to sweep over the rift for some time now. Uh-huh. Finally, finally, we get to lift the veil of fog and tell you about patch 5.1. Uh-huh. A major change this year for Wild Rift. It's what? doubling down on the rich lore of League of Legends. Wait, pause. Doubling down because you fired, you know, stuff. Okay. <laughs> we hope to immerse you into the world of Rune Terra from day one. And taking mm. center stage this time around will be the mysterious Shadow Isles. Who we'll key? Into the <laughs> happenings of Rune Nation. Who his major players were. <laughs> and explore some untold stories. Wait, I'll pause again. I keep pausing. Um... They should have done this in October. Anyway. Like our past patches, where each story was more of a one-shot, this time, we expect each event to build from one to the next. And outside of events and stories, we will also explore new gameplay changes, and deck out in misty themes, and soak up amazing Shadow Isles content. This is a good, this is, this is good Edgelord content for the edgies out there. Help shed some light through this shadowy fog, we invited Paul Who? to tell us more about Wildrift Patch 5.1. Isn't Paul the guy? Oh, never mind. Thanks, David. I'm Paul, director of creative game production for League Studio. Oh. I want to tell you a bit more about how we incorporate Wait. the League of Legends. Wait, did John get laid off? Oh, T. Ruination story into this upcoming patch. Gag. The ruination is a pivotal moment in the history of Ruination. Oh. It explains the origins of many beloved League of Legends champions. Gwen. We've been working on many different ways to merge our rich lore into the game. And over mm. the next couple of weeks, we will learn about the mysterious Blessed Isles and the thrilling, tragic, and potential fates of many champions during the Ruination saga. Okay. Patch will follow three acts, each triggered by the release of a new champion. Starting oh. us off is the once proud and noble Camivore in general. Callista, now work known as the spear of vengeance. Work. She's so mad. What role did she play in the oh my gosh, she's one one, y'all. Woo! The OG one one. It's gonna be a bitch, huh? Leading the second charge is Okay, he's fixed. Congratulations. Our brooding and brutal monarch is ready to extend his reign onto the rift. Find success on the battlefield using Diego's powers. <laughs> Girl, they fixed him after three years. Like I said, and y'all people got mad when I said crossplay should happen. If this can happen, if this tech could be developed over time, then, you know, this. Black mist to close in on enemies and possess those who oh my god. Oh. Maybe. Get him, Jade. We'll come to understand our heartbroken. Ooh. Ugh, so broken. In the final act of the patch oh. Yeah. It's proven somewhat of a mystery to Yeah, most. I, that, I didn't we expect that. The final phase of the patch to add some color to our trans Oh god. Story, well, support's going to be fun. But our new champs aren't the only ones haunting the rift. Who? Oh god. <laughs> Step onto the Waldorf app. app. You will embark on the same journey <laughs> that Kalissa is on during her quest. We have restyled the in-app atmosphere system to transfer you right onto the Daggerhawk sailing towards the Blessed Isles. Oh, well, and this that should have been her release skin. Anyway. Theme. Well, it falls through even in-game, where the mist of the Shadow Isles will be creeping through the lanes. Wow. Now, this is also more than just ambiance. Ambiance. shadows have impacted the game itself. Ugh. During this patch, <laughs> items will be categorized into Radiant and Shadow. What? Radiant items will focus on protection or utility, such as Horizon Focus. <laughs> shadow items will be riskier to play, but they might have the what? payoff. What? That's like Infinity Edge. What is this? TFT? Okay, OG TFT will remember the Radiant and uh, Shadow items from like four, like six sets ago or something. This was a thing. Damn. These item changes will affect <laughs> all game modes. So pop into the shop. Oh the my time. god. Go, oh, Callista. Info, whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast. That's gonna be so annoying. Isn't the only place where we have dialed up the mist. Uh -huh. For Act One, we are introducing a new wave defense. Game. Oh. Final stand. Who? 
Your first foray into the mode oh. alongside Callista, where you'll be fighting for well, her not ad not the ad block. Thank you, ad block. <laughs> not the ad block. So the They'll help you to learn more about Commander Callista from the battlefield. But we wanted to use this patch to show you that she is so much more than Wait, what did they say before the ad block took over? If this is what's this game mode? A new wave defense game mode, final stand. Your first foray into the mode will be alongside Callista, where you'll be fighting for her life in a recreation. Oh wow, oh, wow, look at that. It's so pretty. Wow. Infamous battles. This looks like um Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm Arena over here. Meta Meta so the game mode. They'll help you to learn more about Commander Callista from the battlefield. Gagum. But we wanted to use this patch to show you that she is so much more than just a great warrior. She's mother. Across the three acts, <laughs> you will collect and unlock stories in different visual formats. Wow. Let you learn even more about her backstory and see her from a fresh lens. Log on to the events across the patch and Girl. Other story bits. And once you unlock them, they will be stored in your library forever to be rewatched. At your leisure. Wait, can we not get moats? Unless you're giving me a store. Can you give me something else, please? Thank you. Now that they're cutting off on, like, everything, I think it's okay to give us some, you know, free free currency. Thank you. There are more new and exciting <clears throat> things heading your way. And to get a rundown of the gameplay updates, let's hand it to our product lead, John. Oh my god. I thought he was fired. Thanks, David. That gave me such a heart attack. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, hey friends, John here. Oh my God. Our favorite gunslinger, Miss Fortune, what? will be getting a new passive Pause. that makes it easier for her to double tap her enemies. What? Her passive will now post stacks on her targets while she's stealing damage. What? Her passive will not post her. Oh. And collected stacks will deal bonus damage with Miss Fortune's abilities and basic attacks. What? <laughs> and for Baron Laners, we like to show off. Whoa, 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 whoa. ultimate. Upon oh, that's not that's a nice change, girl. She's girl. That's nice. Yes, that's nice. Plus, we are making Rutera's greatest weapons master even more lethal. What? Jack's ultimate will now deal AOE damage immediately and gain armor and magic resistance. Oh, <gasps> that is so ballsy. Yes, aggressive play. play. Master E is always looking to sharpen his mind and his body. To assist him, we are upgrading Meditate to allow E to combine the ability with attacks. So he can strike, meditate, and strike again. Huh? That's so confusing. The Baron Lane can be lonely and treacherous. So we've decided God. to offer you a friend for the journey. Huh? The Alcove will now come oh with my gosh. Circle, where you can summon an Ixto Moss Tomper to help you in whatever your endeavors might be. Let's, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't PC have this? They will also do <clears throat> extra damage to targets. We can't wait to see the strategies you come up with. Good. For you and I kind of like that. I like Baron Lane. If I'm not playing support, As hello. Always, a new patch also brings in new seasons for ranked and wild pass. Rank season 13. Aww. With a snazzy brown skin as woo, woo, woo. The new wild pass. Will yep, I've seen this one. More food spirits with fizz. Okay, wait, 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 pause that. That was not even a bad skin. It looks good because they changed the background. No longer like um the normal area. It's a supermarket. It's even harder with Inferno shit. Oh, that's... I don't like that skin. That That's the second pass? I mean... <laughs> this patch is all about the Shadow Isles with plenty of events, pulling you even deeper into the lore of Calista and Viego. But like always, there will be plenty of events surrounding other happenings. Oh my... Oh my god, is that Pride Month? Girl, I would play for Pride Month, girl. Pride. Like every year, we want to celebrate every shade of the wild we've come World in. Period. Shine mm. with us for Pride 2024. Okay, here we go. I don't. I haven't Pretty seen much topic. skins. Let's see. Patch on high. Let's take a look at all our new skins. <laughs> Play your penmanship, refine your art skill, or duke it out. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I I I know what he's saying now. Okay, girl. I have this skin on PC. I don't like this one. What's that? Oh, that's what it looks like? I've seen this skin. That's what it looks like, if in 3D. Girl, I thought it was gold. Hmm. Anyway. Who's that? Hey, Dragon Obsidian Dragon said that's the hot skin. That was his release skin, too. No pool party? <laughs> oh, oh my... Okay, this is so Pride Monthy. Everyone, every Karma main is going to get this. My Twitter is, like, going to be full of this picture. You know it. You know her. Is that... Is that... Oh, is that... Is that... 
exclusive? I don't remember. Oh, she, that's her. She better work, Diva. She better work, Diva. She better work, Diva. Look at that. She better work, Diva. Look at that face. She's showing face. Is that? Oh, God. Wait, is this the ultimate skin? No. No. Okay, Jin. Whatever. Evelyn, 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 Evelyn. Oh, of course. The, the queen herself. You know it. Oh, oh, she looks good in that. Is that Evelyn? Oh, Diego. Yeah. Where? Why is it arcade? It should be like the final boss. Uh. Hecarim? Oh, yes. This is, the, this is an iconic skin. Love that one. Oh, Chroma Crash. Yeah. Corky? Is this Corky's skin since the April Fool's one? Okay, Gragas is finally having a skin. A perfect concept. Good for him. Who's that? Very. Bitch. Girl, she has some ice cream cones on her hair. Like, what? Who's that? Oh, Pentakale is gonna have a field day with that. She's gonna be like, oh, she's oh, she's she, she's nutting right now. Oh my gosh, she's she's like, she's spasming right now, girl. She she's watch. I'm gonna say this and send this part of the clip and be like, I told you. Is this dead? No. Sona. 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 So no. Giovanna. Really, bitch. Talon. Oh. Bitch. Aw, that's a cute one. Baby. Well, that's it for patch 5.1 Beyond Blue Nation. Wow. We can't wait for y'all to experience this new era of thematic patches for Wild Rift. Thematic patches. That's actually... I think Wild Rift is becoming chief And we look forward to hearing your feedback. As the patch I moves see. forward, please look to our patch notes for more details. Thank you so much for supporting Wild Rift. Uh-huh. Thank you, Dad. High scores on Final Stand. And as always... See you on the rest. Oh, he looks stressed out. Okay, I'm gonna say this. I feel like we're in an era where the 5.1 is like Shadow Renation. Girl, we're gonna go to like some 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 different theme the next patch. It's like since not much um ha is happening with like other teams, where I feel like we're back to like the Holy Trinity or the Holy uh quadru quad quadruply. Um, Valorant, TFT, League, Wildrift, um, MMO developed is being, you know, fixed. So I feel like we're back into those four games and then we're going to, we're becoming like a TFT now with Wildrift. I feel like to keep the game fresh nowadays, everything has to be a shake it up, you know, like a, a switch up, which I think it's fine. I mean, I'm impressed. I was more impressed with the system that's happening rather than the skins. Um, but, uh, I'm sure, um... Pentakill is coming with this one. I think he's watching it now because it's 8 a.m. in the Philippines. It's 4 a.m. here, so he could be watching this right now as we speak. But um, yeah, what do you guys think of this? Obviously, the winner was her, obviously. Come on. There's a reason why the skin came out. If this comes out in Pride, you know what. Um, but yeah, that was the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I stopped paying Honkai Star Wolf for this and fuck that um freaking ad blocker ad uh but yeah I hope it doesn't ruin the video I'm not gonna edit this so yeah thank you so much for watching if you guys liked the video like the like make sure you guys subscribe notification for never upload a new video um you know you know you know me um already uh, you, as you can see you've been subscribed for a while I haven't really posted much um last time I posted was five days ago yeah, some, yeah, content is just not flowing right now, you know. I'm trying to play a lot of games, but something is not really sticking when it comes to making content. Um, so, yeah. For now, um, I've been playing uh, Tekken, and then the uh, Honkai update came, and now I'm just focusing on that right now. Um, I did play Warzone, um, and I might try AFK Journey. I think that's officially out, so I'll make a video on that. I know content is, you know, just... I'm, I, I'm glad that you're being patient, you know. Um, so, yeah. Uh, follow me on... My social media is my Discord link in the description below. My Twitter at Dr. Kirby underscore YT. My Twitch is at Dr. Kirby TV. There's always days where I'm like, I want to stream, but when I get to that point, I'm like, it doesn't happen. So we'll see what happens. You know, uh, if you're following for a while on the Twitch, thank you. You know, it will be worth your follow if you just wait for a bit. I'm just trying to make sense of everything again, um, you know, with new life changes and everything. So yeah. Um, I think I said what I said. Uh, yeah, I'll leave you be.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.